Bob here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to unbox and assemble a Yagi beam antenna for 70 centimeters from a company called Aero Antennas. I purchased it for about 78 bucks. So let's get on with the video. All right, here we go with the unboxing. I've sped this up so it won't be quite as boring. Again, this is a beam antenna from a company called Aero Antennas. Their website is aeroantennas.com. Purchased it for 78 bucks. The reason I purchased it is because we recently removed, moved out of New Orleans, 40 miles or so north across Lake Pontchartrain. I haven't been able to hit some repeaters that I used to be able to hit when I was in New Orleans. So I'm hoping that once I put this antenna up on a mast, I'll be able to reacquire those New Orleans area repeaters and connect to some of the nets that I used to call into. So that's it for about the unboxing. Next we'll get into the assembly. So here's a quick look of uh, all the unboxed components. Nice and neat there for you. Here's the only tools that I really use in the assembly. And the nut driver was a 7 16th. So let's get on with the assembly. All right, we'll proceed with step one here. Uh, the instructions say to basically remove the antenna connector SO239, and then you have to reinstall it uh, per the instructions. And really what this, this area is for is for the gamma match that you can use after the antenna is assembled to adjust your uh, SWR as we'll, we'll see how it works a little bit later in the video. All right, so here I've unscrewed the connector and I'm gonna remove it and uh, reassemble it the way the instructions call for. I'm gonna bring it up close to the screen here in a second so you can see how it actually goes in. This is how it was in shipping and then how it goes for a final assembly. So here I've sped this up, but all we're doing here is replacing the four screws that held the connector to the boom. All right, and here's another close-up of the connector reassembled the proper way for the gamma match. So next, the instructions direct you to take the elements and the small screws, and each element is tapped with a, with a hole that's threaded. You're just making sure that the screw actually fits through it without forcing it. And here again, I'll just speed it up a little bit while I do this for all of the elements. Okay, so next we're going to actually attach the elements to the boom. Of course, to do that, we now have to remove those screws that we just attached to the five elements. And again, we'll speed this up a little bit. And then we'll proceed to take those elements and attach them to the boom in the appropriate places. Just make sure you look at the instructions so you don't get them out of, uh, out of order. It's important that they go into the boom in the right location. All right, so here I am installing the longest element, which is called the reflector. And it's uh, furthest to the rear on the boom. And once again, pretty easy. Just slide the element through, line, it up, line up the screw, tighten it down. Make sure you don't tighten it too tight because you do not want to warp the elements. And we'll speed this up again here so we can get through this.
All right, so here are the uh, the elements have all been installed, and the next section is to in, to uh, install the gamma match component of the antenna. And here you can just see you take the tube in the uh, the aluminum tube in the clear plastic tube apart, place the plastic tube over the copper wire. You kind of force it in a little bit into that grommet so it stays in place. And then what you'll do next is take that uh, metal tube and slide it back over the clear plastic tube, as you'll see here in a second. All right, then you take this uh, clamp and loosen the, I guess, the set screw on it. And then once you get that done, you'll take that clamp and fit it over the uh, radiating element of the antenna and the gamma match tube, as you'll see I'm doing here in the video. So here I'm just adjusting the uh, retaining clamp and I'm referring to the instructions. The instructions uh, give you some measurements that tell you how, how far up the tube should be from the from the boom and etc. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it and tighten the screw down. We'll adjust it uh, later once we actually try to uh, hook it to a meter and measure the SWR. I will be making a video too once I hook it up to a, a antenna meter so I can measure the SWR and we'll hopefully show you how to adjust that gamma mat section to get the lowest SWR. So make sure you uh, hit the, the bell notification there on the channel so you, you get notified with the new videos. Once again I've sped up this section of the video. Here all we're really doing is uh, attaching the mounting hardware. This, these first two clamps, the upper and lower here, are attached to, uh, to the boom. And then you have two other pieces that you can see off, off to the right there that actually would go on the other side of the uh, antenna mast. And that's how your antenna would be held in place. Here's a picture or a video, excuse me, of, of what it looks like. And then here we're just going to quickly install the other half of the mounting hardware so you can get an overall view of what it looks like. So at this point we're effectively done with the assembly. And here's kind of a look at the antenna. And I think we have a static picture here coming up in a second. It'll just show you the antenna. Overall, the antenna quality, I was really impressed with it. Um, hopefully it'll it'll work just as good as it looks once I get it up on the mast and get, and get the SWR set. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave them below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and we will see you on the next video.